Hey everybody and welcome back to another day. My name is Tyler and today I just wanted to give you a little bit of background on who I am, what I do for a living, and tell you guys kind of how I how I did it. Um, first of all, my name is Tyler Landry. I uh, was uh, in, I was a car salesman before I started my business and uh, I did that for about six years. Um, I got tired of, of working for other people and I decided that I wanted to go out on my own and kind of figure something else out. Um, that being said, I started from, with, from scratch, completely with nothing, no idea what I was doing, except uh, a little bit of Google interweb skills and uh, a little bit of research. Um, so when I started, um, I started out with smaller, a smaller trailer. Um, and I eventually worked my way up. Um, I was fortunate enough to have a little bit of startup money, but even if you don't have startup money, you can still do this, this, uh, this job and get into this business. When my big truck went down, um, I actually had to go down to a smaller trailer, which I'll tell you guys about here in a minute. So the first thing that you have to do whenever you're starting a business is you got to decide whether or not you're going to go ahead and do an LLC or a uh, incorporate or corporation or X corp or whatever, um, or do uh, you know just just roll on with the way that you are as a, as a sole proprietorship using uh, your social security number. Problem with that is that you assume all liability. So I went ahead and I went with a limited liability company so that if the company got sued for some reason, I would you know not lose my house. I would just lose the property that belongs to the company. Um, that's why I like the limited liability company. I thought it was the best way to go for me. That being said, um, I think to start an LLC is, uh, you know, a few hundred bucks. I think it was $299 or $399 in the state of Kansas, which is where I live. Um, so that was step number one. Step number two is getting an EIN. EIN number, I believe, is $150 or $175. So you've got you know, roughly five, 600 bucks and getting you yourself established with your LLC. Once again, you don't have to do that. Um, you can always do it later on, but that was my first steps and going ahead and, and getting things going with, uh, getting a name and, and, uh, making sure that everything was set up with the state and, you know, I was legal. Um, the next thing that you need to do is probably acquire some equipment. Um, I've had trucks for years. I've always owned pickups. I've always had one. So I had that covered. Um, so you just have to decide whether or not you want to go um, with uh, a bigger trailer, bigger pickup, use what you got. Um, if you do have just a pickup truck, then uh, you can always, you know, run it out of your truck, put some sides on your truck and, and go and, and run loads until they're done. Or you can uh, go ahead and get yourself a trailer. Quick pro tip for you, you can get an 1195 pound trailer or towing capacity trailer from Harbor Freight for 600 bucks and put some sides on it. I did that when my big truck went down and uh, you know I wasn't able to, to tow anything with my Ranger. Luckily, I did have another car. I understand that you're not always gonna have that, but it's proof of concept that I ran my entire business with a Harbor Freight trailer and a Ford Ranger for two months. And uh, you know, yeah, it took me a little bit longer. I had to hand unload things and I didn't have the carrying capacity, but I was able to do it. So uh, what I have now is a, a 2014 GMC Sierra 2500 diesel pickup and a 2022 load trail dump trailer. So I'll show you those real quick. All right, so here's what I run the business with. <clears throat> this is my trailer. It's a seven by 14 load trail dump trailer two foot side on it you can put uh sides on this i have had them on there in the past um i just you know i don't run into a ton of situations where you know i'm over 10 yards which is roughly what this is it's about eight yards um but that being said if you do want to you've got your poles your post holes on the sides throw you a two by four in there those are actually my sides right there and then you can put your uh put your plywood up or metal or whatever you want to do so there's a big cylinder barn doors open you can dump this makes life a lot easier if you're in a hurry this is my pickup just a normal old diesel truck you actually don't have to have a diesel truck you can do this with gas pickup um i just prefer my diesels because i know a little bit about them and uh, i can maintain it myself 
One of the other things I recommend doing if you're gonna run stuff out of the back of your truck is get a headache rack, because when you're throwing stuff back here, a lot of times it'll bounce up and bounce off the window or your, you know, you got a crack back there. I like these low profile toolboxes. Number one, this is easy to get out because I can just slide it straight out the back. Um, and uh, it keeps my bed rails clean, but I can also load on top of this. So bags, trash, whatever. So I get a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra things that I can get in there. The other thing I would do, get you some kind of tote to load trash in whenever you're, you're uh, cleaning out houses and get a dolly and hammers. <laughs> That's all pretty self-explanatory stuff though. Another quick note real quick that I'd like to say too is I don't have any employees. I run everything myself. My wife helps me when she can, but um, I load everything myself. Where there's a will, there's a way. If you can't get it in there or get it up a flight of stairs or whatever, break it down and carry it yourself. Um, you know, uh, a lot of furniture and things like that, I take apart inside of the home and I'll drag it outside in pieces or, you know, I, I've just found ways to move things around without tearing stuff up. A lot of times whenever you're doing removals, 99% um, of the time it's either in somebody's yard in their driveway or in their garage. So a lot of these jobs that you're going to pick up are going to be, um, you know, anywhere from five yards to 10 yards. And, um, you know, usually it's small stuff. It's crap that people are getting rid of. Once you get into the bigger stuff, then yes, you're going to start, you know, having to remove large chunks of things and, and, you know, a large amount of items. But, uh, you know, for the most part, the way that I have it set up, I've, I, ha I very rarely run into situations where it's more than, than what I can handle um, by myself. Uh, that being said, there are some large things uh, like big old flat screen TVs. Um, that are hard to remove from people's homes by yourself. Um, you do need somebody for that. Um, they do make these straps called forearm forklifts that I use quite a bit when I do have to have somebody come help me. Um, they're a lifesaver. You basically put them underneath the, the, the furniture or whatever you're moving. They go on your arms, you put your hands on the sides and you pick it up and you walk it out the door. Super easy. They're like 20 bucks. If you ever invest in anything in this get you a set of those and get you a dolly um okay so moving on the next thing that i want to talk about is advertising so um a lot of what you can do is free it's just time consuming um i use next door quite a bit um because it's it's more localized a lot of people in your area um will see those ads um you want to get established in your area and and you know have people know you as quickly as possible where you're at so um you know getting on social media and creating pages for yourself like facebook have a uh, a business profile set up so that your business can you know be seen on on facebook uh do it on instagram and next door like i said next door is a big one that i use um just for promoting the business and, and telling people what we do um, offering services and, and things like that. You don't have to pay for it. It's all free. Um, you want to get on Google ASAP. Get your account set up with Google. Read through the community guidelines and get uh, verified by Google um, as quickly as you can. Uh, you can do it out of your home address. Um, it takes some time. It took me about a month and a half to get verified on Google because of the fact that it's a residential address and the person who owned this house before me for some reason never closed this business and never changed the address so i had to verify and then get in touch with google and uh, they had to do a full review but now that i'm google verified there you are you search junk removal business in spring hill tns junk removal pops up i'm right there five star rated right um so that took a little bit of time but that's one of the best things that you can do is is get your business up and going on google Make sure that you use keywords like junk removal, trash service, or whatever, so that your business is easily viewed. Um, you can run ads. I don't personally do it. It does help, but it is expensive. So when you're first starting out, you want to try to go about any way you can for free advertising because um, you know not everybody has tons of money just sitting around to go and dump into a business. So as far as startup goes, if you have a pickup, and a lot of people have small trailers or a car trailer, put you some sides on a car trailer and, and get rolling. I mean, in all reality, your startup costs 
are next to nothing. Uh, you can get business liability insurance for 50 to $100 a month um, just to cover you in the event of something happening um, that's accepted by commercial people. So um, my insurance, I think, is $69 a month for a million dollar coverage. Um, so there, there's, there's ways to do these things. Um, the next thing that I would recommend doing is getting an accounting software. So uh, I use QuickBooks. QuickBooks lays everything out for you. Super easy. I think it's 50 bucks a month. I mean, it's, it's so simple that I can do it, you can do it. So in all grand total of starting up, in this business, if you don't have a trailer, that's gonna cost you a little bit of money. But like I said, you can put a Harbor Freight utility trailer together for less than a thousand bucks. If you start an LLC, you're looking five, 600 bucks. Um, and then, uh, you know, miscellaneous other little things, equipment and whatnot. So, you know, whenever you look at it in the big picture, you can start this business and get rolling correctly for two grand. It, and you can do it for less than that. If you want to just go and pick up drunk in the back of your pickup, you can, you know, roll on and, and, and just use your truck. You know, if you don't want to start a sole proprietorship, you don't, or start an LLC, you don't have to pay for that stuff. I do recommend getting insured and making sure that you follow any kind of state guidelines or local guidelines as far as what you need for licensings or business permits or whatever, um, so that you don't get in trouble. Licensing and business permits usually aren't very expensive. We don't have a lot of them out here um, for this type of business. Um, they just recommend being insured. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 that's about it. Um, if you guys have any questions and you would like to ask me some questions about how I did everything, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help anybody out and get them started. I had somebody that kind of helped me through the process. So, um, you know, it's nice to have him around, but yeah, man, I can't overstate the, the importance of advertising on social media and using free platforms that you can get your name out there, get signed up with, uh, with, you know, Yelp and all of those other places that are free. So business profiles on Yelp, I believe, uh, the advertising costs money and for them to contact you through Yelp. But as far as like seeing your business on there or reviewing your business, you don't have to pay for anything. Um, once again, next door, big one, really, really big one. A lot of people go for recommendations on there. So if your customers are willing to give you a recommendation on next door, that has really helped me out a lot. Um, it's probably my number one advertising resource for where people pull in uh, advice from others in the area on who to use for, for different things. So if you can get your customers to do that and leave your reviews on social media, on Google, all of those things. So anyways, most of it's just legwork, you know? How much do you wanna put into it? How, how successful do you wanna be? Um, I started the business in, uh, in July of last year and, and we grew six figures by the end of the year. So um, I did have to put a lot of money into it um, in order to get it going that fast as far as uh, investing in larger trailers and stuff like that. But you know, like I said, I run the business myself. I don't pay anybody. If I do, I have guys that are 1099 and you know, I just, I have them come in whenever I need them. So, uh, thanks for watching. Once again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Have a great day.